Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel once again. And I want to thank each and every one of you who is supporting us in terms of uh, subscribing, sharing our content, liking, commenting. The people who are calling us because our phone number is there. The people who are texting us to just congratulate our work. And we believe in a couple of weeks remaining, we shall hit our target 10,000 subscribers strong. Now... I have been putting my videos telling people that if there is a team that will highly suffer in Ruto is Msalia Mdavadi and the Ford Kenya party leader Moses Masika Wetangula. You know, right now, William Ruto is contesting as the UDA presidential flag bearer and not the Kenya Kwanza presidential flag bearer. That tells you what. Ruto just formed the Kenya Kwanza to gain himself because he lied to the people that he will be a coalition candidate. But the news from the IEBC says otherwise. Ruto is not a coalition candidate, but a UDA candidate. You saw, he told the people of Western clearly, he announced and told them Salim Davadi and Moses Wetangula, but for you to be relevant in my next government, please, you must, without any question, deliver 70% of the Western votes. Now let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, Western currently has three ODM governors against one Ford Kenya governor. How possible is it that the two gentlemen will garner 70% which is equivalent to over 2 million votes from the Western region. Is that really practical? That tells you that Uru, uh, uh, William Ruto is using Mselem Dabadi and he is using Moses Wetangula to gain a few votes from Western and after assuming office as the president, he will dump them. What am I trying to say? In short, as we speak right now, the government Ruto is forming is a UDA government and not a coalition government where ANC can have a say. Ford Kenya can have a say. Maendeleo Chafu Chafu can have a say. It is a UDA affair. If you are not in UDA, that means you have no say. You can only come as a stranger to beg for you to be given a share. You saw what Kashawa said. We are forming this government as UDA. And you must know that as a deputy president, our people from Mount Kenya must be given 50% of the government share. And Msalem Mdavad and Wetangula wanted 30%. It is impractical. On that note, for those people who read news and follow news, Moses Wetangula's name, because he was promised some uh, seats in case Ruto wins as a president. For those people who follow news, you have seen that Moses Wetangula's name is in the IEBC register and he is in the Ford Kenya register as a senatorial candidate. Yeah, I hope you should know. As we speak right now, Moses Masika Wetangula's name is in Ford Kenya Party Register as the official 2022 senatorial candidate come 9th August. So in short, it's like Moses Wetangula sensed from the beginning that William Ruto is playing our minds. William Ruto is joking with our conscience. So he prepared himself in advance. That yes, I know. I am coming to Ruto, yes. But then, it's like Moses knew in advance that yes, even if I'm coming to William Ruto, I am coming for money to help me campaign for my Senate seat. You know, we have two months to an election. That is a lot in politics. Two months is a lot in politics. So what am I trying to say? 
Moses Wetangula, if at all all goes well, he will be in Ruto's government as a senator again. Yes. So, it's like the guys in Azimio, the party leaders in Azimio from other parties, they were lied to, but then because they say they're people of integrity, people who respect agreements, people do not con other people, they have feared to come back in public and tell the people that yes, we joined Ruto as a coalition, but then it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter each day. It's like they're fearing to come out in public to tell people the truth that yes, we agreed A, B, C, D. But then as things goes by, what we agreed is not what we are seeing in public. And what is happening inside down there is different from what we agreed. Now what am I trying to say? If Ruto formed government, for instance, of course, a UDA government, right now, Ruto sponsors regarding a shower to go and campaign in the Mount Kenya. Right now, Ruto sponsors ANC party leader Salim Davadi to attend political rallies. Right now, Moses Wetangula is being sponsored by William Ruto to attend political rallies. Right now, William Ruto is sponsoring Alfred Mtua to attend political rallies. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you. If Ruto formed this UDA government, will these guys have a question? Will they have a negotiating ground? Will they have power to tell Ruto, now, yes, we helped you, we used our money, we did A, B, C, D to help you. Will they have a negotiating ground? If Ruto is currently paying their bills, where will they get a negotiating ground? So this is what I'm saying. There will be tears in Ruto's government come August, if at all it will happen. If I'm, I'm saying if at all it will, it will happen. If at all it will happen. The people who will cry, the people who will shed tears, there are people who will commit suicide. Already Moses Wetangula is out. He will be contesting as a senator in Bungoma. He has already moved out. He's only there to be seen. But then an insider source can tell you that Moses Wetangula will be a senator under Ford Kenya. So if we were to form this UDA government, I'm telling you, the people from Central will demand 50% as Rigadia said. And Ruto, the owner of the government, will take 50%. The government is already offered. There will be no government to share with the people of Ukampani through a referendum tour. There will be no government left to share with the orphans. That is Msali Mdavadi and his brother, Moses Wetangula. There will be no government to share with them. What will happen is this. If the people have seen... Who dictated things? It's William Ruto. Why? Even on electing a president, uh, a deputy president, the news which I and you know that was live on, on TV and radio, even on newspapers, the majority of members of parliament who support William Ruto in current that night, the majority voted for Kindiki. But then Ruto said, no, you cannot dictate me. You cannot panga me because me, Mr. Pangwingwi. I have decided it is none other than Rigadi Kashawa. That's why the meeting went long because of a disagreement. Majority of the members of parliament voted Rigadi Kashawa, voted Kiduri Kindiki with over 100 votes. But the Ruto said, no, you can't dictate me. I'm the person to make a decision on what is to happen. Why? Because this government belongs to me and not anyone else. We didn't have Mselem um, Dabadi say that night. We didn't have Moses Wetangula say that night. We didn't have anything. Journalists were journalists camped there. And they said, no. Jamal Alifika Usiku Wakasema William Ruto, Mupenda Musipende, my running mate 
is kiduri kindiki is a, is a, is a, is a regard ga shawa and not kiduri kindiki that is how dictator william ruto behaves if there is a person who is a dictator and if you are not careful we will go back to the moy era that's how ruto's government will be shared is the udia government and the, those people in UDA, either members of parliament or governors or what, those are the beneficiaries of Ruto's government. Those are the people who will be given appointments. Forget about the other rubbish. Because it's evident. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm once again here to say sorry to Moses Wetangula. You were alive too, but my friend, my colleague, Pauline Sana, try next time. Mungu yupo tu hata kuacha. We know you will win that Bungoma seat. Hata mungu hata kuacha. God is living. But then kwa vijana, Vote wisely. Tuendeleze amani katika uchaguzi. Ikifika mwezi wa nane, taretisa, tafadhali. Toka nyumbani kwenu mapema asubui, enda kituoni, piga kura. Ukimaliza kupiga kura, tembea pole pole, panda piki piki yako, endesha gari lako, go back home, tune your favorite channel, Citizen, KTN, Kiss Yacht TV, tutakuwa live. Roger Sikakazungura will be live on, on, our, on, our, on our platforms. Tune your favorite channel. Sit down. Tell your wife to prepare for you enough coffee. If you don't have a wife, you can invite your girlfriend to prepare for you good coffee. If you are a lady, you can prepare yourself a good coffee. Sit down and watch the results. If your candidate wins, tell God thank you. If your candidate loses, don't go burning other people's houses. Don't go killing other people. Don't go stoning other vehicles on the road. Don't go throwing stones on the road. Please, just keep calm and tell God we did our best. Let's try next time. There is no reason for us to fight. After all, these politicians will have a handshake. Now I take watch my turn. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. See you in the next video. God bless you.